Um, well, it's called Eyeball Attack. My good friend Walt Morton had challenged me to paint an eyeball. And he said, how would you paint an eyeball with wings? And I just thought of this insane kind of story. Um, basically, it's, well, I, you know, it's funny, it's hard for me to just talk about these paintings because I like to have people just project a little bit of their own ideas onto them. Uh, but for me, it's just basically what you see, a, a room full of people that uh, may be in a restaurant or a bar, and uh, this weird monster, I guess, has come in, and this woman has fallen off, and, uh, you know, I put different little things around that people could latch on to. Um, I could keep going on and on, I guess. But again, I'd love for people to look at it and create their own meaning, basically. We need to have more Hay magazines in America, in, in uh, magazine shops, because I, it's hard to find, at least for me, where I am. And you would think in Los Angeles there would be more around. Well, I was very impressed that there were this many reproductions. I thought this logo here of the eyeball that you did was, that was really incredible, whoever created that. And in fact, I'm glad that you asked me this. So I always wanted to know who created this little logo. I think that's really neat. Besides the incredible content and questions that you ask the artists, I mean, it's just so thick with content and interesting painters, artists, information that you can tell that there's a lot of love and work that's, that goes into these. And you know, all the different little inserts and oh, it, yeah, anybody could tell that it uh, takes a lot of love and work to put something like this together. Incredible, and, and, and the little slip cover too that's on it, I mean, all the graphics. It's chock full of fantastic artwork.